Hello, good tag, you guys are big lows. Welcome back to Let's Play Planescape Shaper of Dreams. We're in the Temple of Saluna in the city of Waterdeep. We are here to investigate on behalf of Cecile de Sars. She wants us to help out her cousin with her problems. I thought it was her sister. I guess it's her cousin. She is the high priestess of the temple here. We talked to this guy. This was Brother Merwick, or Brother Mervik. He didn't want to talk about what was bothering him, so we're going to have to talk to some more people and maybe get into some trouble. So let's find out how much trouble we can get into. Let's check the map first. What's this point of interest? This is the guard room slash armory. And we have a door that goes to some unknown area. So why don't we go this side first? On the left. Oh, that's not a door that we can open. What about over here? Yes. Oh. How peaceful and beautiful this temple is. We should say a prayer for your husband, my lady. Breaks into laughter. You're more than you're more naive than I thought, Jared. Do you really believe that a few mumbled words in an altar could change anything for the better? We don't have the ability to cast divine spells, although this would be appropriate. I think we get this because we have the cleric class. You do not believe in the gods, Irir? How do you think I have the ability to cast divine spells? It is ridiculous to deny the presence and power of the gods when they make themselves known so clearly. And he mocks us. Well then, why are we... Why are you bothering to make all this effort, since the result will all depend on a few prayers to, cor to the correct address? <laughs> you are speaking nonsense, Error. The gods help those who help themselves. Why should they support someone who does nothing to achieve their own goal? That's not what you said. Look at our prayers, then, if we must do it all ourselves. Are you misunderstanding me on purpose? Prayer uttered by a faithful heart will be heard by the gods and will not go unanswered. It may not always be the answer you had hoped for, but it will always help. That was beautifully said, mistress. Don't you believe in the gods, Irir? Do you not believe in anything at all? Interesting question. Do you have an answer, Irir? Oh, my lady is curious. There have been times when I prayed to Corlan Lorenthian. He never responded. My dark gift, my dark past. He had no answers for me, and at long last I realized he would never have the answers. Maybe you have given up too soon. Maybe now you will get the answers that you have been seeking. Maybe there are no more answers for me. You give her an earnest look. Don't give me that look. I would not be here with you if I had really given up. I simply cannot bear your holier-than-thou condescension. Not to mention Jer's little speeches. You feel superior to me? You should ask yourself why. What gives you the right to think that you are so much better than those who hold dear such things as loyalty, faith, or principles? Stop arguing. It leads nowhere. Oh, let him carry on. He has a point. And then to Jared... I do not feel superior to you, Jared. The problem is that you feel superior to me. Do you think I don't notice your disparaging looks? You look at me like I have a piece of dirt stuck to your lady's shoe. Angrily, he says, I don't trust you. Why should I deny it? You haven't exactly tried to dispel my doubts about you. Had you been wrongly convicted, why would you not explain everything to us? There's only one conclusion for me. You committed the crime you were accused of. And now you're using my mistress for as long as your connection brings you an advantage. Well, you have told us what you think. Can we go now? I have no desire to listen to this nonsense any longer. Well, on we go. We should not be raising our voices in argument in this temple, but only to praise Saluna. Can we get in here? Yes. What about you? Can you get us in here? What's the DC of this? 
Ugh, specific key is required. That means we're not getting in there. Yes? Very well, then. Let's go open this door. DeVito, he's an, he's an acolyte. The young man tries to the best of his ability to spruce up the four tiles. Miss Saluna, bless your ways, my lady. Watch out where you step. It is unbelievable how much dirt the believers drag into here. Thank you. Are you one of the temple priests? Oh, of course not. I'm not wearing a priest's robe. My name is DeVito, and I'm not even a novice. But only a simple man in the service of the temple. But I worship Saluna from the bottom of my heart. Yes, I do. DeVito, I imagine that a temple servant like you gets wind of many temple affairs, even if you are not directly involved. DeVito looks at you suspiciously. What do you mean, my lady? Do you think that I would eavesdrop on the brothers and sisters and blot out their secrets? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Maybe we should do an intimidate. You look at DeVito with an arrogant expression. Did I insinuate anything like that? Yeah, I think they should be insinuated with an S. Certainly not. During my conversations with Brother Mervik, I gained the impression that he was troubled by something. Since I feel a bond with the Temple of Saluna, I would like to offer my help if something wicked is going on. Actually, this wish should meet with your approval if you care about this, the Temple. So what can you tell me about that? Success. DeVito's distrust seems appeased. Oh, so you also notice. Brother Mervik's soul really reflects in his face. He cannot conceal anything. You can see it right away when he is worried about something. So he is worried about something. Personal problems. Then it is really none of my business. DeVito vigorously shakes his head. No, no, not personal problems. Brother Mervik would never bother that much about himself. He does not attach great importance to himself. He is a truly modest and honest servant of Saluna. This is the reason why our diseased, deceased, with a, with a C, deceased, blessed Aroni recommended him for the second ordination, but the deceased, blessed one, so the temple mother has passed away. Yes, sadly, milady. She passed away more than a week ago. Memorial service is being prepared right now. Has a successor been elected? Of course, according to our customs. Unfortunately, the deceased one did not name a direct successor who would only have to be confirmed by the convention. The blessed Aroni died too suddenly and too young to settle her succession. So the convention themselves named candidates and in two ballots, the highly ordained Takara has been elected new temple mother. Two ballots? So the election was quite tight? That is what I heard. The highly ordained Robus lost by only a few votes. But... but we have drifted quite far from Brother Mervik's problem, right? I would not say so, my lady. I think that Brother Mervik is worried about the blessed Takara's physical condition. Apparently, she is unwell. She wanted to give her inauguration, inaugural sermon two days ago, but then she had to postpone it. She must be really ill. It is no wonder, then, that Brother Mervik looks that concerned. You think he would tell me more about it? No, surely not. Brother Mervik is very reserved with regard to temple matters. It would be better to ask the ordained Sidira. She is one of our new high priestess's closest confidants and would never thoughtlessly turn down an outsider's offer to help. I truly hope you know how to help our blessed one. It would be hard on the brothers and sisters to lose two high priestesses within a short time, within such a short time. I will do everything within my power, DeVito. But if not, even the highly ordained know how to heal the blessed one. There's, But even... But even if the highly ordained one don't know how to heal the blessed one, there's probably not much that I can do. So we should probably talk to more people. I don't know if did we get XP for 
succeeding on that intimidate check. No, all we got was information out of it. That's okay. I like information. It helps. What's in here? Ooh, mass heal. Let's get it. Okay, what else do we have here? The Book of Prayers. Required the Book of Prayers. Let's check this out. Mood Maiden, our Silver Lady. It is her light that gives life. It is where my roots are. I'm a part of her. I feel her heart beat next to mine. I feel her pain. I feel her happiness. I feel her sorrow. I recognize her wisdom. I have seen her creation. My brothers and sisters, the animals, the plants, the whispering forests and waters, and everything there is. Well, why don't we put that into a bag of holding or something? Or not bag of holding, our lesser magic bag. I wish we did have a bag of holding. Oh, we got more books. Becoming a priest. Ordination. Novice has to spend five years of studies and preparations at a temple of Saluna if he wishes to become a priest. The ritual itself also takes place at the temple as part of a church service where the future priests take their vows. They said the prayers, which focus on Saluna's sacrifice, the spark of life she brought to the world, the candidates are ordained and receive their vestments. From then on, they may call themselves priests of Saluna. Only very few priests who enjoy Saluna's favor a great measure are considered worthy of the second ordination. It is common practice that the high priest who leads the temple recommends suitable candidates to the convention. Full of joy, happiness, and with proper humility, these chosen ones will feel the effects of their calling when they reach a new level of consciousness and experience a process of cleansing and renewal that affects body, spirit, and soul. Oh, what a blessing it is to be one of Saluna's chosen few. Yeah, we don't need that book. We don't need to grab it. The Book of Psalms. The one who brought you warmth. I'm the sister of light. I'm the moon and the stars. I am all this. I am Saluna. I am the sparkling pearl of dew. I am the ray of light and darkness. I am the earth's breath. I'm the veiled one. And I am the one who was seen. I am all of this. I am Saluna. I am the one who always renews herself. I am in every heartbeat. I am ebb and flow. I am a goddess and a servant. I am all this. I am Saluna. Interesting. And a hymn book. Oh man, this is too much. Alright, well, I'll leave this here for a second. You can pause it if you want to read it. Down here for the second hymn. That's enough. Any uh, other spells? What about. Oh, more. Another book of songs. Another hymn book. Another book of prayers. Another book of songs. You know what? Do we even need this book of prayers? I don't know. I'll hold on to it right now. If nothing else, I will get rid of it later. A pile of wood. Nothing special about it. What about a basket? Nothing happens when we click on it. What about the basket? Ah, here we go. Flintstone and Tinder. Well, if we're going to make a fire, we're going to need these things. So I guess we'll just grab it. But what about the pile of wood? Oh, and we, we got some firewood now. This is Robus, the High Priest of Saluna. I bid you good day. This high-ranking priest is focused on a book of prayers. You get the impression that he's a highly educated man, but the cranky expression on his face doesn't make him look very likable. I'm sorry, but I'm preparing the sermon for the commemoration right now. Therefore, I don't have much time for visitors of the temple. I'm sure one of the other brothers and sisters will be pleased to answer your questions. Well, I don't want to disturb you any longer. What if we have one of these books? Like the prayers. Good day. 
What else do you want? I'm working on a sermon, as you know. Nothing. I don't have any more questions at this time. I'm guessing we're going to have to come back later. Place of Moonlight. This sacred place for followers of the Lady of Silver is a closely guarded secret. Only the most loyal believers of Saluna and their confidence know the exact location of this small dale outside Crow Valley. Too often, priests of Shar have tried to desecrate this place and to kill the followers of the Moon Maiden. Among the priests of Saluna, this is a legendary place. They meet here once in 30 years when the full moon and the vernal equinox coincide to explore the Ab Abbey Mountains and to find the legendary Moon Abbey. Moreover, during the first night of a full moon after the summer solstice, the ritual of the moon fire is celebrated there. Ritual of the moon fire. Interesting. Does that mean we have to start a fire under the full moon? Is that why we needed the tinder, the flint, and the piece of wood? I guess we'll have to find out sooner or later, right? Okay, well, let's go into another room over here. Aegeus, he's another high priest. Champion of Saluna. Hmm. This is just too much information. Ah, here's another pile of wood. And we got some more firewood. Basket. Ah, here we go. Wood shavings. Some coal. Crumpled paper. And flintstone. Well, we already have the tinder and the flintstone. We don't have the coal. We don't have the wood shavings. We don't have the crumpled paper. We might need all this stuff. Who knows? What for? I have no idea. This is Talaris. He's the weapon master. Huh. Hello. This knight of Saluna wears a more splendorous armor than the others. He seems to hold a higher rank. Please behave yourself and do as the priests say. You are the commander of the Temple Garden? That's right. But my appropriate title is Weapon Master. Weapon Master Talaris. Weapon Master? The Knights report to their chosen Weapon Master. That's me. And I report directly to the High Priestess. Yes, well, if that's all, I should now return to my duties. That's good to know. See you, Weapon Master Talaris. Anything else here? Okay, this guy is Tilius Tarlon. I guess we'll talk to him. Go so on this side. Yes. You're looking for healing magic or a little potion to cure your ailment? You've come to the right place. Don't be shy. We've got bandages for every wound and healing potions for every problem. I have healing magic that will cure your most severe injuries. Excellent, that's exactly what I need. Please show me your wares. Or, in fact, I'm looking for herbs and potions. Let's do the first one. With pleasure. Please take a look at this. Uh, okay. See, so look how expensive heal is. 525. We might need some of these. Man, these things are expensive. Here, critical wounds. Yeah, we are going to need that. Potion of heal. Yeah, well, it's a good thing I won one of these potions for 30 gold. Lesser restorations are only 75. Saluna's blood. What is this? Oh, that's just a heal potion. A level 11 heal potion. What about regular? Oh. Saluna's so blood and heal are the same thing. Oh, what is all this? Alder Buckthorn. Effect 
mildly diuretic. Arcostaphylos. Put these leaves in cold water. It's anti-inflammatory. Butyly folium. Put these leaves in the boiling water. It's diuretic. Bit of root. The root needs to be boiled for five minutes, and it strengthens your stomach. Are we going to have to create a potion here? Blood root. The root must be boiled for 15 minutes. It's an anti-inflammatory. Oh, and we can actually buy these books that we just found in the other room. Okay, chamomile. Anti-inflammatory. Just all it needs to be is scalded. Common white beam strengthens your heart. Please scald the leaves. That means you don't have to boil them for very long. Just kind of dip them, I guess. Cowslip. Put the roots into boiling water. Mucolytic. I don't know what mucolytic means. I'm not a doctor. Empty bottle, we might need that. Here's a flintstone. And I don't mean Fred Flintstone. A hymn book? Yeah, I think we already looked at this. Yeah. Strengthens your stomach. Red Aureum strengthens your stomach. Senna. Boil up the leaves. Diuretic. Snake wood. Extract the root and alcohol. And there's distilled alcohol over here. And it says, it said relaxing. Yeah. Spurge. Scald the leaves with hot water. Anti-convulsant, comma, relaxing. Jeez. Tinder. Self-explanatory. Uzara. Anti-convulsant. Extract the root with alcohol. No boiling required. So who's suffering from convulsions? I guess we'll find out. Won't we? Yes. I'm looking for herbs and potions. I think it's the same thing, yeah. Basically. Okay. Alright, moving along. So that's the library. Alright, let's venture this way. So this is Agius. Well met. This man seems to be high in the hierarchy of priests. He exudes calmness and dignity, but also a certain strictness. May Saluna illuminate your ways. And yours, likewise. Is that all you have to say? Well met. May Saluna be with you. Is there something you want to tell me? I guess not. And DeVito's walking around, doing stuff. There's Vera, she's a novice. Why, hello there. The Please young woman is you. busy with her pots and pans. Do you need anything, lady? Ah, so this is where we can brew the potions. I would like to know how to brew potions. Or is this a secret which can only be shared with the servants of Saluna? A secret? No, it isn't. It isn't a secret how to distill. Start action, pure chuckles. The recipes, however, are a secret. Well, at least you have already told me that you need specific as a basis. Told? There isn't much to tell about it. Everybody knows that anyway. Unless we have new specific, we'll be unable to use the still. You want to know how to use it? What does this mean, specific, though? Is that, like, another word for recipe? I guess. Sure, even though it won't be much use without the specific or recipe. Did that guy just spawn in? Well, would you like me to tell you or not? Certainly, knowledge is always a good thing. You never know when it will come in handy. 
All right, then it's quite simple. You need a little, you need a little specific from the barrels over there, and then you fill the hot still with it. After that, you simply have to add the herbs and other ingredients you need. As soon as the process is complete, you can bottle the mixture. That's about it. Oh, it's really that easy. In fact, you had hoped for more precise instructions. Don't worry, here's some more help. Open the context menu of the still by moving the mouse pointer over it and pressing and holding the right mouse key. Then select the use option. This will open the stills inventory. Add a bottle of specific and the other ingredients, for example, herbs, and close the inventory. The still is hot. If you've used the right ingredients, it will create a potion for you. Then you just have to open the inventory again to get it. Got it. So this that's a distillation device right here. This is the temple's distillation device. If it is heated, you can create all kinds of potions with it. Of course, you can also distill alcohol with this equipment, but the priests of Saluna use it for the sole purpose of brewing their wondrous healing potions and Saluna's blood. Aha, so that's how we use the device. Barrel of medical specific. These barrels, these are barrels meant for specific, they are empty. Therefore, nobody's brewing anything at the moment. I still don't know what is meant by this. Because specific is an adjective. It's not a noun. At least, not that I know of. What's in here? Is somebody sick? No? What about over here? A bookcase. Maybe we can find a recipe or something? Two scrolls, though. Prayer. And a recitation. Grab them both. What's in the back here? Eh, just a room. What's in this basket? More tinder and flintstone. Same with these barrels. Ah, here we go. It's a good thing I didn't buy any of this stuff because it's all right here. And some more. All right, well, at least we know where to get it. And a bottle. Oh, we've got some distilled alcohol. All right. So this is Lacus, who's a novice. Well met. The dark-haired novice gives the impression of a bright and intelligent person, but his movements are oddly nervous and erratic. Yes, my lady, if you have any questions, you better ask one of the ordained priests. I am Lachis, a novice at the beginning of his training. I not learn enough to help you understand the mysteries of Saluna. A novice? Now I understand how to distinguish you people. Novices wear green robes, ordained priests wear brown ones. Exactly, but there is also the highly ordained priest who wear brown red robes, and of course the high priestess who wears a completely red robe. What is the difference between the ordained and the highly ordained priests? Well, every priest who distinguishes himself by special merits or talents can be proposed for second ordination by the head of the temple. He has to undergo a special examination, but don't ask me what it looks like. Such knowledge is not for a simple novice. If he proves worthy, he receives a special blessing by Saluna and gains a special status, raising him above the simple ordained priests. You can imagine why. You can imagine that many of the temple heads are highly ordained, but not all of them. I see. That is really simple. This is Sidira, who is just a priest, not a high priest, wearing a brown robe. The age of this priestess can hardly be estimated. Her face has no wrinkles yet. But she appears to you to, to be stern and farouche. She's busy praying at the moment. Or is that farouche? I don't even know what that word means. 
She shall be praised, the one who creates all light and drove out the eternal coldness. Her creative power always keeps flowing. Silver Lady, Moon Damsel, life itself is singing your song. After she has finished the last line of the prayer, she finally greets you. Welcome to the Temple of Saluna. Can I help you with something? You are Sister, you are Sister Sidira, a confidant of the new temple leader, aren't you? The priestess looks at you with a puzzled expression. Why would you say that? The Blessed Takara doesn't favor any of the brothers and sisters. I can assure you... I can assure you that she cares about all of us in the same way. Of course. Please excuse my wrong assumption. I've heard that the Blessed One isn't well. Is she seriously ill? The medical condition of the Blessed One is an internal affair for members of the temple only. It is a shame that one of the of Saluna's servants couldn't hold his or her tongue. I feel that DeVito's assessment of Sidira was wrong, and that she is definitely not willing to share anything with you. Well, the person was certainly of the opinion that the medical condition of the Blessed One was more important to you and your concerns about bringing someone from outside into the loop. He was obviously mistaken. Sister Sidira's expression gets even colder than before. The listening novice awkwardly stares at the floor and then resumes his work with shaking hands. Young lady, you don't know what you're talking about. Of course I'm concerned about the health of the Blessed One. I'm acting in her interest by keeping her ailment confidential. Let me please finish my prayer now. May Saluna bless you. Uh, well, look who got all uppity, huh? And this is Varus, the Temple Guard. The Temple Guard doesn't let you pass. He blocks your way and speaks with a polite but firm tone. Stop. This corridor leads to the chambers of the High Priestess. She doesn't see any visitors right now. All right, then. I have no reason to go there anyway. Have a nice day. Well, then. There you are again. Yes, there I am again. Well met. No. Okay. So these guys really aren't that willing to share information. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to talk to somebody again. Maybe it's this guy. Greetings and well met. The believers dragging a lot of dirt. I wish they would wipe their feet well before coming in. Maybe you should put up a sign, DeVito. I thought that goes without saying, but I guess I was wrong. Huh. You know who are we gonna talk to now? Maybe we should talk to Merrick again? What does the journal say? Yeah, let's just talk to him again. Well met. Greetings again, Sharice. Is there anything else I can do for you? Hmm. Advice? No, we already asked this stuff. So who haven't we talked to? Well, I don't know. I'm kind of stumped, actually. Hmm. Well, I don't want to blindly make any... any potions or anything. Guessing we're not gonna We're not gonna be getting any information from these people, are we? Yes. No, we're not. Okay, well I need to figure out what to do next. So I'm going to stop the recording and I'm gonna go 
talk to everybody again, and if something changes, I will come back in. Okay, this is definitely different. If you talk to the guy who's next to this girl who gave us the attitude, we now get a choice here that says, I saw that you followed my conversation with the ordained Sidira very attentively. You do not share her opinion? The young novice blushes to his ears. You're mistaken. I I would never dare to question Sister Sidira's point of view. Of course, but certainly you have formed your own opinion, which might slightly deviate from Sister Sidira's position. I cannot imagine that Saluna's temple forbids its novices to think for themselves. You are right, but I have been instructed. The young man evidently wrestles with himself, but then it abruptly breaks out of him. Well, I don't mind if they punish me for lack of discipline. I am sure sometimes the ordained priests are also wrong. I will tell you what I know. Then speak. Is the High Priestess's situation really that bad? I don't know. The last time I saw her was a few days ago, shortly before she was supposed to give her inaugural sermon. The sermon was postponed, and since then she has not appeared in public, but has kept her chambers and is presumably ill. The highly ordained Agius and Sidera are taking care of her. No one but her closest confidants are allowed to see her. Knight of Saluna is keeping guard, and only selected visitors are allowed to pass. To be honest, I doubt that she is really ill. Some of her confidants have turned the entire temple upside down for days, supposedly for a big cleanup. Everyone was terribly excited and distraught, and some sisters and brothers have shown an awful distrust, and have been rather irritated since the day the high priestess withdrew to her chambers. I want to speak with Sister Sidir about the situation. I did not get a word in edgewise. That sounds rather mysterious. Do you think I could get into the High Priestess's chambers to speak with her myself? I wouldn't know how. You would need some sort of authority, either from the Master of Arms, or the Temple Guard, or one of her confidants. The guard only allows selected persons to pass. Hmm, let's see how I manage that. In any case, don't be concerned that you spoke to me openly. I will not mention your name. Thank you. That would be very helpful. I feel the calling to become a priest of Saluna. I would not want to be expelled for this. Of course, Sidira was right here and heard everything. Please turn to someone else. I need to finish my prayers. Can you help me? I'm in need of a healer or. Wie ihr wünscht. I don't know what wünscht means. Let me find out. Hold on. As you wish. I should have figured that. Okay. Wie ihr wünscht. As you wish. Okay, so maybe we should talk to some others here. Maybe to the captain of the Temple Guard. Well met. May Saluna be with you. Is there something you want to tell me? Are you the highly ordained Agius? Yes, I am, but please call me Brother Agius. Is there anything in particular that you desire from me? Indeed, I would like to personally speak with the Blessed Takara, but I am afraid the Temple Guard does not let me pass. I heard that you were one of the closest confidants of the Blessed One, and might be able to help me. Unfortunately, I cannot help you. The Blessed Takara is unwell, and is not receiving visitors. Alright, we're gonna try Intimidate. I don't know what Persuade is. I don't know if that's a combination of Diplomacy or what. This is what I heard. However, I have also heard something else that makes this assertion rather implausible. I will not beat around the bush. I believe that odd incidents have occurred here. What did really happen to the Blessed Takara? I swear I will keep snooping around here until I have brought to light the entire truth. Failure. How can you dare and th to threaten a priest of Gia? 
I'll tell you one thing. Keep away from things that are none of your business. Simple solves his problems internally. Does not share them with outsiders. Our conversation is terminated. So that didn't work. And why didn't it work? Because our intimidate is only a seven. But it's a good thing we didn't use diplomacy because that's a two. Our bluff's a nine, but we never got a bluff. Uh, never got a check for bluff. That kind of sucks. I wonder how high we needed a check. Probably rolled a one like I always do, huh? What about this guy? Hello. Yes, is there anything else you want? You decide to bring the knight out of his shell. After all, he might be a little more open than the taciturn clerics here. You are a knight of Saluna, aren't you? Truthful and honest? Why do you ask? I'm really worried about the situation here. Something seems to be wrong, and I feel that you are more sensible than the brothers and sisters who behave as if they were guarding state secrets. I promise I will do my best to help, and I won't cause any trouble. You seem to be in need of help, right? Towers grins as he answers your question. You are right. The priest's secret mongering is not exactly helpful. Unfortunately, I have to follow their orders. Otherwise, I would have taken action long ago. But, as you are an outsider, you may be able to act when I have to remain passive. Listen carefully. You may have heard before that our high priestess Saroni passed away recently. Her death was unexpected, and, and so she was not able to name a successor. Therefore, the convent held an election. After two ballots, candidate Takara won against candidate Robus by a very narrow majority. Now, according to the customs of this temple, the new high priestess is, is expected to deliver her inaugural sermon within two weeks after her election. Naturally, she has to do so with all her vestments and with all the insignia of her high office. This is the actual beginning of her term of office. One of these insignia is the Eye of Saluna, a very special amulet. Fortunately, the amulet was lost only a few days after the election. The Blessed Takara had left it in a small cabinet in her chambers before she attended the evening service. In the morning, it was gone. She doesn't have the slightest idea of where to find it. Only a priest is permitted to be in the back area of the temple. So I'm afraid we have to think that one of us is a thief. You won't be surprised to hear that we suspected Robus or one of his followers, even though the mere thought is horrible. The Blessed Takara cannot deliver her inaugural sermon without the amulet. The brothers and sisters would think that this was a very bad omen. They would see it as a sign that Saluna does not accept her new high priestess. However, if she does not deliver her sermon within the specified time, the comet will have to decide about holding a new election. Her confidants thought it was a good idea to buy some time, so they said that she fell ill. But still, they haven't found the amulet yet. That's a sad story. Would you grant me an, audi an audience with the Blessed Takara? Maybe I can find something you didn't see. I'm afraid I can't do this. Varys, one of my men, is guarding her chambers. I know I shouldn't say this, but I hope you will be able to do something. So. Why don't you try and find a way to sneak past him? I can't help you directly, but I promise I won't punish Varys. You can count on that. I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. You won't regret your confidence in me, Weapon Master. I'll find a way to help you. Crap. Does that mean that we have to use our sneaking ability? I hope not. So who is... Ah, oh, this is the guy who's suspected of stealing, huh? What happens if we pickpocket this guy? Let's try it. Ah, look what we rolled a one again. Yeah, it's nothing. Why am I not surprised? Yes? Alright. 
You're gonna have to do leaps and bounds. Rafael. Yeah. I think you should do the same. You should... How did... How did this happen? Oh, I guess when you leave my party, all sorts of weird things happen, huh? Here is nice ice boot dagger. No, this, we don't want that. We want this. That's better. Okay. So we're going to have to sneak past. If it's even possible. Yeah, get unstuck, will you? Alright, let's go over here. And then I'll try to put everybody in stealth mode. Ah. Wir haben frisches Spezifikum. Endlich, es kann weiter gebaut werden. Ich hole gleich noch ein Fass. Okay. Gleich means same. Specificum, I think that's self-explanatory. That's the same. That's Gleich, what she was talking about. Einlich. I don't know what that means. Es kann weiter gebraut. Es kann wieder. Excuse me. Wieder. Gebraut werden. Ich hole gleich noch ein Fass. So this guy is named Lewin. I, we haven't talked to him yet. Sure. I've brought a new supply of specific. Now we can get back to making potions. Riri. Let's talk to Vera about it then. Do you need anything, milady? You the cook? Yes, I'm novice Vera, and I prepare the meals for the brothers and sisters. We also brew healing potions for the believers here. That's a lot of work for one person. Oh, I'm not alone. Brother Lewin helps me. He just left for a moment to get a small barrel specific. We need it for Saluna's blood. Our believers just love this potion. This potion must be very effective. It's a pity that you don't have anything left. She shrugs. Maybe if we come back again tomorrow. Didn't the guy just say in German that he got some? I guess not. Okay. So why don't we try going into stealth mode? Yes. Everybody. Sure. Let's tell this guy to stay put. Don't move from this spot. Easy enough. There you are again. continue. So that didn't work. However, your move silently is better. No, it's not. Listen, isn't this a little too hard for you to stand guard here all the time? Maybe you should take a break. You look a little pale and sick. What? That's possible. I cannot simply leave my post. Anyone can just walk through. Even though I have to admit that I'm really not feeling very well, a knight of Saluna must not leave his post unless there are compelling reasons. Really? Is that a matter of life and death? Well, the post here is not that important after all. Still, I won't leave my post just because I'm feeling a little ill. There would have to be more compelling reason than that. So I wonder if he could see us. Because we don't have hide in plain sight. Let's get out of stealth mode. You too. In fact, why don't you put that on? And we'll tell you to stay put. 
No problem. Okay. Now since he is not looking, we'll go in stealth mode. Because our move silence should be rather high, right? No, six and six and six. Yeah, it is kind of lousy. What about you? Yes. Yours is seven and three. So that's ten. So technically yours is better. Move silently check. Not gonna happen. Well, we're gonna have to figure out some yes. other way how to do this. You better follow me. All right. Well, I think we've done enough for today. I'm gonna figure out how to get past this guy, because I think that's the only way we're gonna advance the plot. And then from there, we'll convince Cecile de Sars to give us the location of that portal so we can get on with the game. In the meantime, this is Big Low signing off. Thanks for watching. Feel it, Dunk. See you next time. Auf Wiedersehen. Max gut. Tschüss.